when God made a river, you say, he made a wonderful thing because you literally, if you have the right plan, you literally can uh, reap great wealth just from a river flowing by your house. One of life's greatest adventures on the earth is a phrase that I deem running with the ops. Opelousas catfish. Every year they run the river before they spawn in April and May. I catch one of these nets. It's the king of catfish. They're great to eat. What we'll do every year during this process, I take the ops, what I'm looking for, three to 12 pounders, they're the best to eat. Then all the undesirable fish, I chop them up and put them in my crawfish traps because they're running at the same time with the ops. So this is about the process of eating good. I've done it every year since I was about eight. The plan. You say, did you plan on using the river as a source of revenue in with the duck calls? How did that exactly work? I'd come up with a duck call that sounded like a duck, mainly with the reeds and the end pieces too, but the reeds were the key. So I called Miss K up and I said, Miss K, I said, Here's what, I'm gonna give you a plan and see if you agree to it. I said, see this duck call where I reach in my pocket? I said, see this duck call? She said, yeah. I said, there ain't but one of them, this one. I said, what I want you to do is find me a place down on the river, not off the river, right on the river bank. I gotta be on the bank of the river. If it floods out in there, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Find me a place on the river, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna commercial fish the river with nets, trot lines, nets, traps. We'll survive off catching the fish while I get this duck call, figure out how to market this duck call and make them. I said, we'll fish, and that will feed us and we'll survive. We're not gonna tear the woods up. We're not gonna make big money. I said, but we'll make enough to survive. She's looking up and she's thinking, hmm. She said, let's do it. Water's up, so all my land markers are hard to find. Oh, I don't think it was right here. Well, you tie it under the water because these redneck perker woods around here, they will steal it. So you get this headline in your hand. This happens kind of fast. This makes people nervous. To put it out, you just got to put it out. You got to show some courage. You know what you're doing. I feel good about this one. You know what's weird is as cold as it is, the water's warm, it's like bath water. It's kind of crazy. Phil and, I, Phil and I one time got so cold in the summertime it came a hailstorm. And we literally 
we were way away from our house and we literally jumped out of the boat and just let the current drift us back down. It was like taking a bath. That's how cold we were. All right, one down, one to go. Where Jace came into the equation is Jace is a little boy. When he hit about 10, I needed motor men. First started with Al, then Jace, all the way down the line. So I needed a motor man. It was easier on me if I had a motor man back there when I was running nets. So I used them as a labor force to help me catch fish. Miss K would take them to town. I had a fish market uptown, sell them, get the money from the fish, and we're surviving. Finally, I borrowed some money. Some guy had to co-sign my note to get the money to build the duck calls, get the equipment. And it just went in stages. But the fish, the fishing to survive lasted about 12, 15 years. When the duck call finally started making enough money, like I had planned, when it started making enough, it went so far past the fishing revenue. One day I told Miss Kay, well, I would rack my nets. We don't have to worry about fish, catching fish anymore. Now we'll just catch them to eat them. I said, I'm gonna rack all my nets. Commercial fishing is over. I'm doing it now just to, so we can have fish year round. So we'll just enjoy the river. It's, uh, it's like a cash cow that just always is giving. That's where Jace learned that particular skill set. I trained him that way. To this day, he's still going out there, but he's just doing it for the fun now. You know why? Because the duck call business went, took off like a rocket. All right, this is the fun part, where we catch them, hopefully. Now they call it fishing for a reason. This ain't catching, this is fishing. We got some, we got some brush here. We gotta get out of the way. Well, look at the raw stream. Wish I could do that in front of my wife. Uh-oh. Oh yeah. I'm not sure what it is yet. Let's see what. Oh yeah, he's perfect. Boy, Phil's gonna be happy. I mean, oh, we got a little fella in there too. Look, this is the one we want. Oh, that's what we have to see. Hey, that boy Tucker got a grip on him now. <laughs> we want him to grow up and get bigger. So we'll let him go. Okay, pretty little thing. Now this one here, easy, 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 easy. This is what we're after. What about it? Greatest eating catfish in the world. Right there, that size. That's my Yeti. That goes with me. Then you let everybody else, they can, you know, there we go. Blues, they ain't bad. All of that came out of that river out there. Every bit of it. Ducks depend on it, how high it is. Ducks, fish, settle them. You say, when God made a river, you say, he made a wonderful thing because you literally, if you have the right plan, you literally can uh, reap great wealth just from a river flowing by your house. Here's to the Almighty and the one who made the ducks and the fish. Thank you, Lord. That's all I have to say about that matter. <laughs>